Our next profile introduces us to the work being done at the Spectrum Center in San Rafael. Whether addressing the needs of gay senior citizens or offering support for gay teens during those turbulent school years, Paula Pilecki and her staff serve as a safety net for an entire community. Each year, the Marin County Senior Information Fair attracts more than 5,000 North Bay residents. Tucked in with all of the booths, only one, the Spectrum Center, is aimed at serving the region's gay and lesbian seniors. Spectrum Senior Program was one of the first in the country that was devoted to offering services to lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender seniors. And we began that because we knew that there were isolated seniors in their own homes who could not find other LGBT seniors to talk with. Paula Pilecki and the staff of the Spectrum Center work to bring awareness and understanding to North Bay communities and businesses. It isn't just about coming out, it's about people seeing themselves reflected in the institutions around them. For these seniors, it's not even about overt discrimination because we really don't see that much of that here in Marin. What we see is a silence, and it's the silence that really is the biggest problem. Unfortunately, as we all get older, the isolation that that brings is literally life-threatening, and we are here to decrease some of that isolation. Spectrum also provides support to LGBT youth, a focus that has existed from the beginning. Rainbow's End started in 1982 as an outreach to youth who weren't sure they would be welcome in their own homes if they came out as a gay or lesbian. The Rainbow's End program remains a vital part of Spectrum's mission today. We want them to thrive. We don't just want them to be tolerated. We want them to thrive in their homes and in their environments. Sometimes grown-ups forget how hard it can be for kids, at least from their perspective. The youth that I work with, they're busy, they're doing drama, and they're doing sports, and they're trying to get good grades. For some of them, nobody else knows that they're identifying as lesbian, gay, bisexual, or transgender, or maybe even questioning that. Some of these teens and seniors now volunteer for Spectrum's Speakers Bureau in local schools. When they are willing to speak out on behalf of Spectrum, they are really being ambassadors for the cause, and we're very grateful to them. Over the past 27 years, Spectrum has also been a rallying point for standing up against discrimination. When we stand together as a community in saying no to hate of any kind, no matter who it's against, we are a much stronger community because of that. Whether speaking out, offering support, or educating the community, Paula Pilecki and the staff of the Spectrum Center adhere to a simple belief. We want anyone and everyone who walks through our doors to feel welcome and accepted here and we want them to leave knowing that they have a place to come. Our gratitude to Paula Pilecki and everyone at the Spectrum Center for their dedication in creating a safe and welcoming place for the North Bay's LGBT community. Our next profile highlights the woman who has combined her medical background with a deep commitment to help those in need. Dr. Ho Tran came to this country with her husband and children as refugees. Despite tremendous loss, she persevered and is now nationally recognized as a champion of public health in minority communities. But the doctors, you know, will be Under Dr. Ho Tran's leadership, the work of the Asian and Pacific Islander American Health Forum has risen to national prominence. As CEO, she grew the organization to more than double its budget and expanded the staff and scope of its work at its San Francisco and Washington, D.C. offices. America is very much of the majority population and the minorities, and within that minorities, we are very diverse. The Health Forum works to eliminate health disparities with Asian Americans, Native Hawaiians, and Pacific Islanders. Dr. Tran's effectiveness in health policy is the result of her skilled medical training, public health background, and direct experience as an immigrant. I found that when you came as a refugee from a different country to America, that you thought America is a paradise. But once you leave in the country, you, you as an American, you could see that there's a lot of either you call it inequalities, you call it injustice. 
Po Tran was born in North Vietnam during the Vietnam War. Her parents soon moved the family to the South, and it was there that she pursued her childhood dream to be a pediatrician. After the fall of Saigon, her husband, a pediatric surgeon, was detained for three years as a political prisoner. As parents and as physicians, the trans knew the harsh communist regime was no place to raise their three children. I saw much of the suffering of my patients, the little patients, and so when my husband was released from the camp, we decided to escape by boat. Risking their lives, 75 people crowded onto a small two-engine fishing boat. A week on the high seas in a typhoon without food or water proved to be treacherous. Finally, at the seventh day, my son died in the boat. And you could see um, my despair, because as a pediatrician, I believe in children. But I couldn't do anything for him. They were rescued only a few hours later by Filipino soldiers. After several months in a refugee camp, the Tran family was on its way to rebuild their lives in America. When Dr. Tran finished her medical residency in Chicago, she realized she had found a new calling. One day, I was taking my mother to the doctor and to translate for her. But next to me was a Hispanic woman and she has no translators. So I was wondering who would be doing the same work for her, and if not, it would be a disaster if they don't have the appropriate interpretation or interpreters. You know, the care that they provide is just like veterinary care. Armed with a master's degree in public health, Dr. Tran proudly advocates on behalf of the underserved. Her goal? to nationally implement cultural competency training in the medical field. Along the way, she's also authored a book chronicling her personal story of perseverance. You know, in one of my Vietnamese ideal, which I believe, you know, in Chinese too, is like, you know, that ăn cây nào, giàu cây nấy, means that when you eat from one tree, nurture that tree, to kill that tree. So you are in America, serve the country, you are in it. And our best wishes to Dr. Ho Tran in her new post at the helm of the National Council of Asian and Pacific Islander Physicians. We'll be back with the woman leading the charge to create a love of reading and writing in children across the country.